call to order. Salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Justice. 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 There is nothing on it that has to do with propane, J.J. Sullivan. It's a public and meeting, isn't it, sir? And I'm not going to have you right yelling to at me. I'm not, yes, you do, sir. Okay, thank you. And um, some people are either going to have to leave or... Maybe why don't we move it then? Move it. We're not leaving. I'm not going to argue with anyone. So I've been advised we don't have another venue. We, have, we don't have another venue. We don't have another venue. So um, move it to the school. You'll have to forcibly remove us. I mean, John. Can I have order in the room, please? The mayor has asked me to explain to you exactly what the status of this meeting is about and the degree of your participation. As he indicated, propane storage tanks are not on the agenda tonight. There's other business There's that other the council has to do. Right sir, sir you, you, the so citizens are out of order. I've asked here. you three times. Not to interrupt. You don't have the right to interrupt. You don't have the right to be repetitive. You don't have the right to. Uh, be redundant. You can you can sit. Look, uh, the meeting has a specific agenda. The propane tanks are not on the agenda. You are welcome to sit here and to watch. And if you have a comment that you want to make about an item on the agenda, you are free to do that. You are not free to disrupt the meeting or to prevent the council from doing its business. That's all I have to say. If anyone thinks that they can simply uh, interject and disturb the business that this council has to accomplish tonight, you will be removed. We ask that you stay here. We're happy to have the public here, but this, this is not a public session. It is not a public hearing. It is a specific matter that we are taking up this evening or matters that we are taking up this evening that doesn't give the public the right to discuss anything they want to discuss. Uh, it has to be germane to the items on the agenda. Otherwise, it's irrelevant and it will not be entertained. Why last time it was not on the agenda and it was allowed to be talked about? Last time there was the ability for several hours for people to express whatever they wanted to say. This is not going to happen. This is not going to happen every time the town council has to do the town's business. <laughs> It's as simple yes, as it that. It is. I'm asking, I'm asking you, sir. I'm asking for order. I'm asking you, sir, are you now saying that there's no citizen in this room, when he is allowed to talk, can mention the talk about propane? This evening, there is a specific agenda, and any comments that are not directed to an item on the agenda will be ruled to be irrelevant. Okay? That's, so that's you, I just want to be clear. Yeah. As during this town council meeting where we are allowed as the public some time to speak you are now saying that we are not allowed to talk about anything to do with bulk propane storage is that correct since that is not on the agenda that is correct you're absolutely correct 
because we have other business to conduct. When is it period. Going to be on the agenda? I can't have people yelling out, please. You, you have been advised of the scope of this meeting. We ask that if you wish to remain here, that you conduct yourself in a fashion so that the council can do its business. If that is not the case, people will be asked first to voluntarily leave, and then if you insist on disturbing the meeting, you will be escorted out of the meeting. That's all. I can't make it any clearer than that. Lastly, every meeting, every meeting we have is not going to be about the propane storage issue. We had a meeting on that. Several hours, people came up and were, were allowed to say whatever they wanted about it and to whomever they wanted about it. This is not such a meeting. It's as simple as that. Sir, I just have one question. Was bulk propane on the agenda at the last <coughs> town council meeting? It was, it, it was on the agenda for the last town council meeting. The council opened up that issue for people who were in attendance there. And anybody could, everybody had a right to submit whatever material they wanted and to say whatever they wanted to say. And you're and citing the reason is because it, in, in writing on the minutes for that town council, it was on the agenda, correct? Uh, if it was on, if it wasn't on the town <laughs> meeting, there was a motion that was allowed that allowed it to be that way. Where, it's not. I ask that you clarify and cite your legal grounds for saying that we cannot speak about bulk propane, whereas last time we could. Please. I sir. said it five times, and and that's the last I'm time I'm going to say. I'm still unclear as to whether it was on the official agenda. This is not about the last. The last. The last agenda that we had is not what we're talking about this evening. You had all the time that you wanted on that last agenda. I'm trying to get clarification. You set a law right now saying that if it's not on the agenda, we're not allowed to speak about it. That's correct. Last week, the last town council meeting, it was not on the that agenda. That was a different town council meeting. <laughs> <laughs> if you Sir, recall, is that you recall, your the petition, the petition was on the agenda, if you recall. I'm sorry? Petition was on John, the the, the petition was presented at the last meeting, and that's why. Okay. Right? Yep. So, at the last meeting, a petition was presented to the council. The council then was the council then allowed people to speak to the petition. That was done. That was. Your business is to serve the people. Hold on. Are you saying that the the presenting of a petition gave us grounds to speak at the town council meeting that was last held? No, How? actually, we gave you permission to speak. That's so. Just so we can be clear, Mayor, you have the authority at every town council meeting to decide whether a topic off of the agenda can be spoken about or cannot. How come everybody needs a joke with it? I don't know why he laughs at everything. Okay, you, you have, you, you have the mayor's, you have the mayor's uh, instructions, which I have reiterated. You are welcome to be here, and you are welcome to speak to any item that is on the agenda. It, I got a motion on the floor. For what? We got too many people in the room. Second. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Moved by Councilor Rose, second by Councilor Fusey to adjourn. Roll call. Mayor Candelaria? Yes. Deputy Mayor Whitworth? Yes. Councilor Caprio? Mm. I really don't. No. No. Councillor Diamond? No. Good for you. Good for you. No, we can't brush this under the rug. Nice job, Vincent. Thank you, sir. Good job, Vincent. Answer our questions. Councillor Diamond? Yes. Councillor Conant? 
Yes. Yes. Councillor Hodgson? No. Councillor Rose? Yes, citing that the fire marshal is more busted.